folks, the scores on the doors. Now, it's been a weird day yesterday with those scores on the doors, and even weirder today. I'm going to do someone's job for them now. Right, first, let me go with old uh, Peter, Peter Fillingham. Another Fillingham flyer flew in yesterday. One bet, one winner. I get round about even money, but it's a winner. The thing that I don't get is, Peter's never mentioned it today. He never even mentioned he had a winner, man. And I know what the problem is. He's picked one today called Juniper, a good old English name. It's thrown him, hasn't it? He's not picked a French one. He normally, do. that's part of what he does. He starts with the yesterday's tip, whether it won or lost. Then he goes on to today's tip. Then he mentions that he's had a chat with his laptop, his computer, to get the proper pronunciation right. He's thrown him to He's picked an English sounding horse and he's forgot to tell you he had a winner. But I'm telling you now, Peter had a winner yesterday. Now, I say it was a weird day. It was a weird day for a few reasons. Mr. Maurice didn't show up. Don't know why. But neither did Mr. Holden. Now, I've had one of our followers on and say, ah, well, maybe, maybe, maybe the boycotting. Now, we've laid off Mr. Maurice for a good while now. Holden, we're going for shortly, but he said, they're in the same stable, this Hollywood bets. Maybe they don't want the grief on here. You know, because we're creating a bit of grief for them, because we want them to be more honest, more open, and show profit and loss. One is, one hasn't done. Um, but it's, it's weird they've both go, gone away. Now, one of our followers has said, well, I don't even know why people are paying them. If they go on the Hollywood Bets website and just look up the names, Holden and, uh, and Maurice, all the tips are on there, they're free. Maybe that's what they've done. Maybe they've uh, not YouTube on the head. Maybe it's not paying. Although I think for one of them it is. It's gallivanting all around the world, on it? Um, so maybe, maybe they're just doing the Hollywood bets now. I don't know. That's two days down. We've not seen them. But who appeared yesterday? Oh, Watchman racing out of nowhere like a puff of smoke. It was like midnight last night, and I thought, what's this? I seen his video from earlier, and I thought, where did he come from? That was uh, that was not expected. I've had to go at Keith, if you're watching this, Keith, because Keith normally informs me about what's happening on there. Even Keith had missed it. He's noticed it today because he sent me a message today. But, um, yeah, even Keith had missed it. Uh, the, he really did take us all by surprise there. So, yes, he returned. Now, now I know he put out a bet. He's there for bet. He's picked another one today. But I never looked on my laptop because it's on the laptop where you can find out whether they've got a profit and loss. I don't know if you can find it on the TV. And I tend to watch a lot of my YouTube late at night on the TV. So I need to see whether old Watchman uh, Racing has, has, has put his profit and loss. Now, he promised us in January that from the 1st of February we'll be operating with a profit and loss to encompass all his bets. I never thought for one minute he would. He went missing for about six or eight weeks. He's back now, so we'll have to see if there's a profit and loss there. If there's not, we're going to be having words again on there about Watchman Racing. You know Watchman Racing. Watchmanracing.co.uk, all the double U's. I've heard it again today three times. I'm thinking... Where are all the W's in watchmanracing.co.uk? I'm actually spelling it back to myself. Watchman, there's one in that, racing.co.uk. All the W's, I'm thinking, where did they come from? Anyway, he's an operator of good service again. He's given a free bet. He's got lots of other free bets if you subscribe, lots of others. They're all kicking about, plus lots of other bets he's doing, plus he's going to be sponsoring racing here, there, and everywhere. So jump on board now. Well, jump on board if you want to, folks, but... I would suggest you get a profit and loss of him first. Get a proper profit and loss before you part with any of your hard-earned. And then Jeff's on there today, Jeff Lawton. I said, we won't be touching him, but it's weird what he's saying today. I mean, this is not a tipping channel. This is more an information and education channel. I do pick horses, but it's not a tipping channel. And all my horses are free. But if you want to know how you can get them before 9 o'clock, email me and I'll let you know. Well, we already know because people have told us it's 40 quid a week. So it's either 40 quid a week for early prices... Or for information, for, for education. I don't know what it's the 40 could a week's for, whether it's for the horses or the education or a bit of both. But I'm thinking it all seems a bit weird to me. You know, I thought to myself, well, well, Peter's done a couple of bits of education. Um, he's done a couple on uh, on how to get bets on, on bets on with bet there with the exchange there. Jeff at the Glorious, the, the new boy on the, the new kid on the block. He did something yesterday about how he set bets, he's staking plan, whatever else. All information, all free. Same with Peter's, all free. And I'm thinking, well, why would somebody pay 40 quid a week for, for you know, a bit of betting information? You know, a bit of a betting education, you know. If you can get it free, why pay for it, I would suggest. So anyway, so the watchman's back. Holden and Maurice have gone. Jeff Lawton, we're not sure about. He keeps saying subscribe, so I'll go anytime and I can keep coming back. You never know with me. But he's only giving information and education, although he's giving tips as well. 
Peter's having another flyer, but he's losing his mind because he's forgot to tell us it. Um, and that's about it, I think. Yeah, that's about it. So, scores on the doors yesterday. I've gone all the way around the houses, as, as per usual. Peter, tip one, it came in. I'll tell you what you've not done for us, Peter, of late. How many of your followers, you know, your pedums, have uh, fell off the perch of late? You've not given us the latest uh, running total of how many have died, how many have got dementia, how many have retired or moved to another country. We've not heard for a while. There must be at least a couple there that's gone since the last semi-total, six weeks ago. We know they fall over willy-nilly on your channel. Anyway... I'll leave it at that, folks. That's just goes on the doors. It was a bit longer than it should have been, but it gives you a bit of an insight into what's happening out there. Uh, and we'll, I'll have a look later tonight and see if the, the Watchman, that's watchmanracing.co.uk, all the W's, I'll have a look just to see if he's doing a profit and loss. He promised us he would from February the 1st. Let's see if he's good to his word. I hope he is. I bet he's not.